So today is Sales Scenario Thursday, and Ooh. I thought that we could SST? talk about the SST. Yeah, I thought we could talk about uh, creating urgency for buyers. When you have a buyer on the hook, what are a few ways to create urgency to get them to put that down payment on the card, the CAD, while you're CAD. on the phone with them? or in the Facebook chat or email or whatever. So if any of the audience has uh, suggestions regarding how to create urgency, please throw them in the chat. Fellas, Mike Zano, how do you create urgency? Well, I'm going to go the devil's advocate in the other direction for a second here. Oh, boy. Why do you guys do that to me? Just because. It's part of the same topic. I think, look at. By answering this question, I'm going to talk about something completely different. <laughs> no, no, it's Thank you. not something different. It's Thanks for bringing like the this, topic, Matt. Scott Bossman. Want, Matt, do you try to convince people to sell you their property? It can't be done. True. So do you try to convince people to buy your property? I really try hard not to. Because to me, it's a matter of, to me, ultimately, there are some persuasive techniques, and we can talk about those for sure, that if someone is right there ready to buy and they're having maybe a lack of confidence in you. They feel like maybe they're not 100% sure it's an online transaction. But if it's someone who's truly not, if someone's just sort of just sort of looking and they're not sure, I don't. I believe on in heavy marketing and bringing the next buyer, uh, the one that's really going to buy it, rather than wasting time on the one who's not. So, but again, that's there are times where there are people, right? Honestly, that and you can we can talk about this too, that are. They really want it, but they're just a little bit unsure about, you know, who you are and are you legit? And there's ways you can do that as well. But to start the conversation off, I'd say that if someone's truly not really interested, you you really don't want to convince them. You don't want to push them. So it's so that I think well, that's the far end of the spectrum, though. Is that fair? Yeah. Multiple marketing channels bring multiple potential buyers, and one of them will buy your property. Okay. All right. So, Zeno, but I, I'm a gentleman on the phone, right? Okay. Speak and, to me. And, gentleman. And, and, and I'm very interested in this property, right? Yes. But listen, yes, sir. I got to talk to my wife first. Wait, I have yes. to go out and see the property next week. But yes. I'm really interested in this property. It has everything I'm looking for. Can I camp on the land? Check. Can I hunt on the land? Check. Are there restrictions? No. I can build whatever I want? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, listen. Uh, so, you love the property. But there, yeah. So, in that instance, you're talking to a guy that on paper, he loves the property. He's, yes. He loves every every Google Take Earth. Take away the risk. Every Google Earth overlay image that you, that you have presented to him. He loves the back yes. taxes. He loves the location. He loves everything. How do you create urgency for that guy? Because you, you want him to buy. Part. He wants it, but you take away the risk. You let him know the very true reality is that there are people that will buy this property sight unseen. I know you want to go see the property, but that's why we offer you a money back guarantee. Just sh we'll hold the property for you, but you got to show us you're serious. You know, documentation fee or, or whatever it might be. You could have a $99 dog fee. Pay that dog fee. We'll hold the property for three, four, five days, whatever it is. That way you don't go out there. You don't fall in love with the property and somebody else who is just, you know, ready to buy doesn't just click right when you're making the phone call to me to say mike we love it someone else is pressing ka ching buy and they buy the property and now you don't get it i'd hate to see that happen to you i've seen it happen to other people just like you so why not take the risk-free option secure the property go look at it if you don't love it i'll refund you nice i love the the, the refund right I don't love it, but it's a good tactic. I mean, I don't love refunding. It's a good ta it's a good tactic, but like I I'm I saw I'm on Mike's side of this. Right? There is a lot of people you can waste a lot of time talking to a lot of people who are the perfect fit on paper. Right? Who is calling me at work at 10:50 at night? <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly people, like Go get your connect and sell somewhere else. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a sales guy. I answer the phone. Um, 
Uh, but I'm definitely on the side of like, if you're a good buyer, isn't just a good buyer on paper. I mean, they are somebody who's who is willing to pull the trigger. I'm fine with saying we have a a, a money back guarantee. I'm fine with all of that, right? But at, at a certain point, I'm not going to chase you. If you want to go look at the property, I'll work with you. Give me a hundred dollars down. I'll refund it. I'll let you have forty eight hours. Like I'll make something up that does take away all that risk. But at the end of the day, it's not that hard to sell property right now. And I got a hundred people lined up behind you. It is what it is. So, you know, two years ago when I was pretty new, I'd give you three weeks to go look at the property in hopes maybe God you buy one. Now I'm unlikely to give you really any concessions because the stuff is selling. It's like the yeah. market's in, in my favor, not yours. Right. So. I mean, what we want to work with people, and sometimes that's just a lot of conversations to build that trust, but you need to be careful that you don't tie up properties for somebody who's a tire kicker, but he sounds good and looks good on paper, right? When somebody else is going to come along and you're going to go, yeah, that's tied up. And they're like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go to Matt Forbes' site and I'm going to go buy his because I'm ready right now. So there's well, a, there's some, some give and take there. I mean, you said it right there, Forbes. It it seems to be a seller's market right now, <clears throat> right? And it is. Um, uh, that is an urgency at its base right there. I mean, yeah. uh, how many conversations does our team have with potential buyers who, uh, I just, you know, we just had one earlier today. Uh, he wants to go see the property in three weeks. Listen, how the property's it's flying off pass. the shelves right now, there's no guarantee that thing's gonna be here in three weeks. Like, it's just a matter of numbers. It's it's a matter of yeah. It's a matter of frequency. These things are selling quick right now. It's not going to be there in three weeks. Uh, so well, you, just, know. you know, I, I I'm a super passive about those guys. I'm like, hey, that sounds really really good. Yeah, I'm not I I'm not going to hold it for you. Um, just give me a call before you go out. Exactly. Just just to make sure that it's not sold. Yeah. All right. No problem. But like honestly, between you and I. I have a decent chance of selling this in the next three weeks. So like, it's all, it's all good. Right. And, uh, and it doesn't, it's not going to stop you from going out this way. When we have another property, it would make sense for you, you know, but I have properties where I have a list of people who are, who they know when I call, either they take out their credit card or I go to the next person on the list. Like they want a very specific thing that I usually have that I don't have right now. Like that's that kind of a market. So yeah, no, I'm not going to mess around with somebody who's, you know, not sure about buying something on the internet. Like I'll do your best to make, you know, to make you feel good. But at a certain point, bye bye. I think that's a great topic for next week. Buying on the internet. And uh, yeah, it's a tough one, right? How, to, get over how to put your buyers at ease. Uh, I love it. Um, quick, quick story about, uh, about a guy I had on the hook and an urgency. Uh, so I don't buy many properties in Wisconsin, but I came across an opportunity. So I did it. I'll throw it out there. Uh, talking to a gentleman from New York, he's like, yeah, I'm really interested in that, in that property in Wisconsin. Oh, well, I'm getting like literally 20 leads a day on this thing. I'm like, dude, I, I, I can't promise you it's going to be around. He's like, I really want to go visit the property. He got in his car with his wife and his two-year-old on a Friday night, and they drove straight through to Wisconsin to see this property. I'm like, listen, I hope you really like it when you get there <laughs> because yeah. I can't guarantee you're going to like it when you get there. And yeah. guess what? He was so excited about it? the property. He got there. Uh, he loved it. He bought it, and uh, it was nuts. But uh, you can't, I mean... My only way of conveying urgency to him was, you know, listen, I'm getting 20 leads a day on this thing. And uh, if you want it, you know, drop the down payment. We have a 90 day money back guarantee. Uh, and listen, if you want to drop the down payment and go visit the property, awesome. He's like, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go visit the property first and then I'll put the down payment on. Okay. Anyway, yeah, no interesting problem. story. No problem. Yeah, I, I get that. I had... Um... I had a super nice older couple, very timid about buying something over the internet. It took a while. 
And then they, you know, they finally pulled the trigger and they, and they went out to the property and they didn't like it. And I'm like, no problem. Like my sales assistant's like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, what do you mean? You don't know what to do. You know exactly what to do. Just give them their money back. Whatever. Yeah. Who cares. You know what they said? Keep our money. Keep our money. Cause we, had a we good time. see the next one that we like that you have. We'll just apply it to that. Oh, that's awesome. I was like, that's really great. And then I'm like, Anne, how the hell do we do that? Like, how do we account for that? She's like, I have no idea. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Like, we've got to account for that. I, ah. like, I don't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> just like, oh, my God. Like, I'm waiting for them to be like, well, we gave you our down payment. Have somebody be like, what are you talking about? And then have, we have to, like, remember, you know, one of, those weird, one of those weird ones. But, yeah, that happens. Uh, that's that's funny uh people love adventure right like we've had people before um uh, i i've offered them hey you know when you're out there uh, i would love some pictures of these couple properties you're taking a look taking a look at i'll give you 50 bucks i've done that and they email back and they're like or they text back and they're like you know what we didn't like the property but we had an amazing time no need to pay us okay i had a guy i had a guy in apache I never worked in Apache and he's like, I think I want to, you know, he's like, I think I want to buy that property. And I'm like, cool. This was super early on. Right. And, uh, he's like, I'll drive out there. And I'm like, could you take pictures? I'm like, I'll pay you or I'll take it off part of the down payment. Like, you know, whatever, like I'll, I'll give you money for it. He's like, oh, okay. And so we think it's just like regular Apache. We don't really know much about the area. This is sort of that we've never had pictures taken or anything out there. He's like, oh, my God, it's next to a well and it has access to the well. And I've seen this stuff before. And he spent 45 minutes educating me on Apache. This guy knew everything. He lived like an hour away. He knew everything and then wouldn't take my money for the photos or the video he did. It was like yeah, he just amazing. likes talking about dirt. And he knew a hell of a lot more about it than I did. Hmm. 